Hey team, today we're going to learn how to create a custom contact form with Netlify Forms. We're first going to create a form with some basic HTML, and then we're going to use Next.js to create a form with a React app. I'm Colby Fayok, and if this is your first time here, make sure you hit subscribe for future updates. Netlify Forms is a solution from Netlify that allows you to create and manage forms without dealing with any of the server-side code. To get this to work, you just have to add a simple HTML form to your website, add a Netlify attribute, and the Netlify pipeline does the rest. So to get started, I created this really basic HTML file that just simply has the skeleton of an HTML page. But inside that, we're going to create a new form. We're going to call it contact. We're going to say a method of post. And then I'm going to paste in some inputs where we have things like a name, email, and a message, and then simply a submit button at the end. And if I open this in the browser, we can see all of our inputs like name, email, and message, and our submit button. Now before we push this out to Netlify, we need one more thing. We need to add a data Netlify attribute of true. Netlify will see this attribute and know that it'll pick it up in the processing pipeline. So I've gone ahead and pushed this out to GitHub, where if we look at this index.html file, we'll see exactly what we saw in my code editor. But now if I go to Netlify, I can get a new site from Git, and choose GitHub, and once I find my repo, I can select it. And then since it's just a static HTML file, I don't actually need any build commands. So I'm going to hit deploy site, which kicks off the build. And once it's done, I can open it up and I can fill it out with a test name with hello at colbyviag.com and testing my submission. And if I hit send, we'll see that we get a thank you form submission from Netlify itself. So now if we go back to the Netlify dashboard for our project, we can see we have a recent form submission section where we can now see my test submission. We can even click into that and see all the submissions where we just have this one right now, but we can see all the information that we just got from that form. Now this works great, but I like using React. So what if you wanted to use something like Next.js to build your app? If you're not familiar, Next.js is a framework that we can use to create a production ready React app. To create a new site, I can run yarn, create next app, where it asks for a project name, and I'm gonna call it my Netlify Next.js form. After it's done, I can CD into that directory, my Netlify Next.js form. I can run yarn dev. And once it's ready, I can open that up in my local server and I can see my new Next.js site. So once we're in our Next.js app, there's a few things we wanna do. So first, I don't really need this description, so I'm gonna remove that. And I'm also gonna rename this page to contact form, just so we know what we're looking at. I'm also gonna grab the form from our HTML file and I'm gonna copy that right inside of this grid in Next.js. I'm also gonna get rid of all these extra links below our form, and I'm gonna repurpose this class name on our form so that we can still take advantage of the same styles with our grid. And if we look back at our page, we can see that we have our updated title and we have our same exact form as before with a little bit of a different style. So before I push this out, I wanna change one thing. If you hover over this card, we kinda of get a weird hover effect, which doesn't really make sense for our contact form. So if I open up my home.module file and I search for card, I can find where it's adding that hover focus and active state, remove it. And then if I open back up my form, I can see that I no longer get that hover state. And since we copied over our form from our simple HTML file, we also have to update these four attributes so that they say HTML4. If we don't do that, our labels won't function properly. And when you click them, they won't select that input. Finally, with Next.js, when we run the build command, it doesn't automatically build it out into static files. So to change that, we can go to our build script and we can add and next export. We can even test that locally, where if we now run yarn build, we can see that Next.js went through all the build steps. And now if we look in our files, we have an out directory where we have our static site. So similar to before, I pushed this out to GitHub, where if we actually navigate into our pages and go to our index.js file, we can see that form that I added. Inside Netlify, I'm gonna create a new site just like before and select GitHub, where now I can select that new repository. And now since we actually have build steps, we wanna add a build command of yarn build, and then our published directory will be that out folder. And once added, we can deploy the site. Now our HTML file deployed really fast since it was literally just an HTML file, but now since this builds, it will take just as a little bit longer. But similar to before, once it's finished, we can open up this new page and we can actually try out our form, testing, sends, and hit submit. But this time we get a 404, what's actually going on? If we go over to our Netlify dashboard, we can also see that we don't actually have any form submissions. Forms rendered with a JavaScript app work slightly different. So if we could check out this documentation for building it in a React app, we can see that Netlify also recommends adding this hidden attribute where we give the form a name. So if we paste in that attribute to our form, we can see that we actually already have the value of contact lined up, where if it was a different name, we would wanna make sure that those are the same name. But since we have that, we can now save that. And after we push that back out to GitHub, we can see that it's automatically rebuilding. Similar to before, once it's finished, we can open up that page again and try submitting with tests and hello at completefeedback.com, testing again, hit send. Now we get that same thank you message as before. And if we go back over to our Netlify dashboard and refresh the page, we can now see our submission. 
Now that worked great, but what if you wanted to add some more customization? Netlify provides you a few options, like for instance, if you want to provide a custom success message, you can add an action that will redirect to a specific page on your site. If you seem like you're getting a lot of spam, you can add some spam filters like a honeypot field, or you can even add recapture. And notifications are probably the biggest thing. The forms don't supply email notifications by default, so if you want, you'll have to set that up, or you can add with a range of different Zapier integrations, which allows you to really do anything you want. If you follow along, you just created two custom Netlify forms using a basic HTML file and Next.js. Contact forms are super common, but forms can be used for a ton of different things, and Netlify forms makes that really easy to spin up. If you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe for future updates. Thanks for watching.